Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all the vehicles in our inventory. We are not a consignment dealership. If you are watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, which is hangsters.com. There you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos on our channel, we leave up at all times, whether they were shot four days ago or four years ago. We never take them down. Our subscribers enjoy watching the content on our channel, so we leave them up. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that vehicle comes down off of our website, letting you know the unit has been sold and is no longer available. Hankstersgarage.com. Check out the website. Uh, not only do we sell and ship automotive parts and accessories uh, around the, all over the United States, but we also install them. So if you are watching a video presentation we're doing on a particular vehicle and you want different wheels on it, you want a different interior in it, you want a different dash on it, maybe it has uh, you know, drum brakes and you want four wheel power disc brakes, we can convert that. Uh, we install vintage air systems. Uh, the list is endless, to, uh, what we can do. So if you, uh, you know, want your car delivered with uh, it being turnkey where you don't have to take it out and have this stuff done, uh, we can accommodate that. Again, hangstersgarage.com. It's about four miles, uh, five miles maybe from our showroom here in Daytona Beach. Um, we have a small showroom over there with automotive parts and accessories. And again, we do all the installs there as well. So check that out. Seems to be uh, always leading the pack year after year in terms of muscle car and collector car desirability is the uh, first gen Chevrolet Camaro. And today we have a beautiful 1967 to show you. So let's get started. Under the hood, uh, you are looking at a 327. Uh, I've driven this car already, and let me tell you that 327 runs fantastic. Uh, up on the firewall there, on the driver's side, you will see a call tag. There will be a picture of that call tag on our website, so you can break that down if you choose to. Right in front of the call tag, you will see the uh, gold brake booster, because it is power brakes. Underneath the alternator, you will see your power steering reservoir, power steering car. And on the uh, passenger side, where you see that uh, red and blue cap, you are looking at an AC compressor. So yes, this car does have vintage air. Let's look at the rest of the car. Hugger orange, drop top. It is a convertible. The convertible top is white. And let me tell you something, the convertible top, the white on the convertible top is not faded, not discolored. It looks like a new top. We'll start where we always do at the top of the uh, fenders and the hood. The uh, ice cube trays that are on the uh, hood look to be uh, brand new. There's no pitting of the chrome. Uh, there's nothing that shows age. Uh, they look newer. Uh, painted the tops of the fenders and the hood. Um, again, fantastic. This is, in my opinion, an eight and a half out of 10 in paint on the car. Uh, real, real, real nice paint job on the car. Uh, there's plenty of uh, layers of paint, there's plenty of layers of clear, uh, and, and the paint's pretty, pretty flawless around the car. The uh, stripe on the nose is a uh, sticker, so it's not paint, that's a sticker on the nose of the car. Grill, grill looks good, uh, no uh, brakes that I can see, no uh, nothing, none of those uh, fins missing. Chrome on the front bumper, front bumper looks to be in newer condition. Um, Nothing uh, flaking off, nothing around the uh, bumper bolts rusting, no pitting. Uh, black spoiler there down low is plastic. People have a tendency to want to run things over and crack those. This one's in one piece, and even if it wasn't in one piece, we have them in stock. We sell a couple Camaros a month. Um, how about the front fender? Let's take a look at that, both high and low. First of all, there's a brush touch there on the front fender. I guess something may have fallen onto the car. At one time, there is a little brush touch there. Um, down low here, there is a 327 badge, which is uh, significant for what it is under the hood. Uh, you can see there's no blistering there, no bubbling. Got the Camaro designation. Uh, raised white letter BFG radial tires on the car with the rally wheels. Uh, the tires are, I, I checked them uh, yesterday. They were uh, 19s or 20s, so the, uh, the tires are only a couple years old. Uh, plenty of tread on those. I'll show you those when we're on the lift. Uh, glass clarity out of the front windshield. Um, 
real, real nice. I don't see anything uh, chipped, uh, cracked. Look at the uh, wiper arms there. Nice chrome. The cowl area, the paint's real nice. Chrome up top here where the convertible top closes is real nice. Taking a step back from the car, you will see that the door fitment's uh, fantastic. Look at your body line here, how it lines up nice all the way from the uh, front of the fender to the uh, rear quarter there. Uh, so your, your door gaps, uh, check out the fitment to the front fender. It's nice and uniform from top to bottom. And then at the rear quarter, again, it's, it's nice and uniform. So I'll show you a, a few quick flaws here. You got a little tiny chip here at the uh, driver door handle. And then, so these, uh, these rocker covers down here, you know, just like on the GTOs, they're aluminum. So, you know, and they sit low to the road. So anytime they take road debris, there's gonna be problems. So there's a little tiny dent right there. It, you can barely notice it, but it is there. So I'll point it out. We have the top down, obviously. Uh, there will be many photos with the top up. Um, let me go over some things. First of all, uh, in reference to the top, uh, the uh, rear window clarity is fantastic. You know how it's a plastic window, not a glass window. You know how they sometimes want a yellow. Um, this one is uh, clear. So, uh, and the top is gleaming white. Um, looks like a newer top. I don't have any information on the car, when the car was painted, how old the top is, how old the interior is, when the motor was rebuilt. I don't have any of that information. Um, if I did, I'd provide it in this video. The interior, uh, black vinyl with the white inlay. Uh, you'll see speakers there in the corner. On the convertible top, there is no hat rack. So there's nowhere to mount rear speakers. So you got two choices. You drill into the door panel and mount them there, or you do what this particular owner did and you, um, you know, kind of wire them up in the seat there. And they do work. I was in the car, I drove it. The radio works and the uh, speakers work. Let's open the door and take a look at the inside. First of all, the uh, door panel painted up top here, uh, plastic in the center, carpet at the bottom of the door. That's all in fantastic condition. Uh, OEM seat belts front and rear. Um, carpeting underneath the rear floor mats, fantastic. Floor mats are new. Show you the uh, carpeting in the front there underneath the driver's side floor mat. Uh, steering wheel. Steering wheel's not all cracked. Uh, dash pad you can see is nice. It's not uh, ripped, torn, cracked. Uh, the previous owner also mounted cup holders there in the center console. Um, so those are, you know, that's mounted to the, uh, to the door there on the center console. In case you have not already seen it, the car is an automatic and it does have a set of aftermarket gauges mounted in front of the uh, shifter. It does have a retro style radio in there. Uh, again, it does work. Body lines on the car are uh, a 10 out of 10. It's, they're great. Um, rear quarter, driver door, front fender, everything lines up flawlessly. The uh, convertible top, by the way, is power. Uh, we will show you the uh, convertible top functioning when we're on a test drive. Chrome around the convertible top uh, looks, again, newer. If I had to guess, I, this paint you know, is less than five years old. It's real, real, real nice paint on the car. Uh, deck lid fits nicely to the rear quarters. It does have a spoiler that's mounted to the deck lid as well, painted the same color as the car. Chrome around the rear uh, tail lights. The bezels around the tail lights looks to be in good shape. Again, just like your, uh, uh, you know, items up there in the hood, you have, uh, they look to be newer. No, no pitting, no, no rusting. Same thing with the rear bumper. Uh, no rusting around the uh, bolts. No pitting on the uh, chrome, no flaking. Take a look in the trunk here real fast. Somebody just chose to, instead of a, a, a trunk mat, just put some black carpeting in here. There's some black. I don't know. Um, you know, this was probably like a car that, you know, won many awards it shows. Somebody put, you know, wanted to dress up the trunk a little bit and they did a good job. Uh, the trunk is dressed. This does peel back. Um, there's not really much under there. There's a, you know, like a little, another little mat. It's just, you know, no rust, no rot. Um, again, somebody took 
it, it's nice. I don't think it, you know, it's not really meant to be pulled up. It's meant to look pretty. Um, I'm pulling it up to show you that the trunk's not all rusted and rotted out, but the uh, it looks nice in there. No jack, no spare, so uh, just enough to uh, stick your lawn chairs in a cooler. Uh, passenger side of the car, uh, same thing as the drivers. The uh, body lines are fantastic. Uh, rear quarter, passenger side door, front fender, everything's uh, real nice. This is a very nice vehicle. Take a look just to, you know, you can see everything from the top, but just to show you the door panel on the inside on the passenger side, uh, again, it's painted up top here. It's uh, plastic in the center. Uh, carpeting down low there is real nice. It's not uh, discolored or torn or, or, or coming off the door panel. Um, neither the driver nor passenger seat has got any kind of rips, tears. Uh, the cushion's real nice. You know, it's not all, some of the Camaros, the uh, cushioning is original or hasn't been done in quite some time and you sit in the seat and you go right to the springs, which is kind of uncomfortable, but this one has a uh, good both uh, front and rear. I mean, the rear looks good. I didn't sit in a rear seat, so. Uh, 327 on the uh, passenger side front fender and the Camaro badging. Uh, the uh, rocker moldings, bottom of the door moldings on the passenger side look to be good. I don't see anything going on there that like I you know, pointed out that tiny little dent on the driver's side, but. <clears throat> um, front fender. Passenger side, same deal. You know, it's, I, there's nothing there to show you with the paint. You know, everything uh, up high and down low is good. It's always nice to uh, get a piece of inventory uh, that sets itself apart from the rest. Um, this is a very nice vehicle. Uh, again, I mentioned earlier, we always get asked about paint. Eight and a half out of ten, in my again, in my opinion, paint's always one of those touchy subjects where some people are very, very nitpicky, and, and then others, you know, will let stuff fly that I don't think is, you know, all that wonderful. But to, to each is their own when it comes to paint. But uh, you can see it's got a real nice interior. Take a look at the still photos with the top up. We're going to do the test drive portion with the top down as well, you know. But I will show you the power top functioning. Um, all the window glass clarity is fantastic. You have power steering, you have power brakes, you have AC, you have a functioning retro radio. Um, all the chrome's good. The paint's fantastic. The car is a turn the key, it starts up, it idles nicely, it doesn't overheat. Um, it, uh, you know, 327, obviously it's not a, a 396 or a 454, so if you're looking for one of those, visit our website, we have those too. You know, this is a small block car, uh, but just a nice turnkey, beautiful looking, nice running Camaro. So after I said all that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to encourage you guys to visit us here in Daytona Beach. I think this is an exceptional car. I think it's a car that will sell in two or three days, if it even makes it that long. Um, however, you may not agree with me, uh, maybe you're already a collector. Maybe you have a, a, a car that makes this one look like a, a, a not so great Camaro. But, um, you know, that's why I encourage you guys, especially if it's your first classic car purchase, visit our Daytona Beach showroom. We'll pull the car outside for you. You can look at the, the car in the sunshine. Uh, you can play with the convertible top, pop the hood, pop the trunk, go through the car uh, really good. Uh, we'll rack it for you, just like we're going to do here in just a couple minutes. Uh, we'll let you look at the floor pans, undercarriage, tires, suspension components, bottom of the motor, transmission. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the car performs, how it stops, starts, steers. Uh, this way you get a, a good, uh, you know, feel for the car, the, how it rides, how it accelerates, how it shifts, you know, all that fun stuff. This way when the car shows up, wherever you might be in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you looked at the car firsthand. I do a lot of these videos each week, each month, each year, uh, and have been for quite some time. And I say the same thing in every video and, and, and people continuously buy these cars sight unseen, which is fine. I'm a sight unseen shopper too. I don't, I buy everything online. I don't go to anywhere in person to buy anything. Um, but again, we're dealing in 30, 40, 50 year old automobiles. They aren't perfect. They all have their flaws, tendencies, deficiencies some of which we try to show you in these videos. However, um, 
you know, we're not going to, I don't have time to do an hour video on every car. So we uh, try to hit the high points and move on to the next vehicle. But if you visit our showroom here in Daytona, you look the car over for two or three hours if you'd like to. Um, that's what we're here for. That's why we have this beautiful facility and uh, we enjoy doing it. And we do it week after week, month after month, and year after year. That rack I was talking about, that undercarriage presentation, let's go do that right now. We'll uh, drive the car around the building and see which racks open out back. And then we will do a test drive. It's a beautiful sunshiny day here in Daytona. We'll take our 67 Camaro out on the ride and I'll show you guys how it runs. 67 Camaro convertible underneath. So uh, disc brakes up front. Uh, the bottom of our 327 looks good. So i uh, tell you a little bit about uh, what I know about classic cars. Um, when a motor is out of a car, that's the time to paint the block and paint the pan. And the block on this is painted and the pan's painted. So what that tells you is the motor's been freshened up somewhat recently. You know, I told you I don't have any history of the build on the motor, but I can tell you when a block's that clean that it's been out of the car somewhat recently and, and, and done. Um, Frame rails look good, both sides, driver and passenger. Your flywheel is covered. Tranny pan looks nice and dry all the way around. Um, exhaust system, you have uh, dual manifolds uh, going into uh, pipes. Uh, welds look good on the pipes. I don't see any rust or rot or pinholes on the exhaust system. Um, I can tell these are not the original floors. I can tell somebody's put new floors in. So uh, there's where they start right there. And then uh, you'll see them going back. Looks like all one solid piece to me. Somebody has put a protector here for the exhaust system that uh, branches the two floor pans together. The only thing I can see um, in the floor pans, which is right here, um, it's a little bit of silicone. Maybe somebody didn't like something that was there. I don't know. Um, you know, you can tell it's not a patch it's not you know it's just one little piece of silicone there so i don't know what happened or what they did but nonetheless uh, floors are nice and solid all the way uh, back throughout the car looks like a newer drive shaft too if you look up here um, tail shaft seal on the tranny is nice and dry and then uh, all your uh, your drive shaft looks to be new and all your clips and uh, everything there looks newer um, no name brand on the uh uh, uh, mufflers, so I'm not exactly sure, uh, you know, what uh, what brand they are. Uh, the um, area where the trunk meets the uh, meets the back of the uh, back seat, everything looks good there. Uh, no rust holes, rod holes. Uh, you have drum brakes in the rear. Um, I told you in the showroom that the uh, tires are newer, so you can check those out. Uh, tread on the tire is real nice. Uh, you've got plenty of um, tread left till you get down to the wear bars. The wear bars are right there. You've got some tread on top of that. Uh, tire's not dry rotted or anything. Uh, 10 bolt rear looks to be nice and dry. Uh, gas tank's in good shape. Drop downs on the rear quarters look good. You can see that that's a nice fine line there. See, this is your inner, the inner workings of your, that, that little metal flap there, that's the inner workings of your uh, inner quarter. And then that's, of course, the outer. And there's nothing all packed with uh, mud or anything there on the uh, driver's side or on the passenger side. Both of them look to be nice and clean. Frame rails in the rear, see those? Up there, nice and clean too. Looks good. Uh, we're going to set it down and we're going to take it on a drive, but before we do that, we're going to talk about payment options. If you're a cash buyer, we take a cashier's check or bank wire transfer. Bank wire transfer is usually the most common form of payment because it puts the funds there the same day or the following business day, and we can start preparing your vehicle for shipment that much sooner. Vehicles are prepared for shipment in order they're funded. There might be two in front of yours, there might be six in front of yours. It just depends on what we sold that week. If you are a uh, if you're financing the car, collector car lenders we work with will do up to a 10-year loan on our classic cars. Of course, you need a good credit score, 10% uh, down payment. So if it's a $50,000 car, you got to put five grand down. Um, you can do more if you'd like to, but they require a minimum of 10%, no matter what your score is. Uh, once you uh, fund us the 10% down, 
uh, the uh, lender will go ahead and fund us the remainder, and then we can start preparing the vehicle for shipment just like the, the cash buyers. Financing can generally happen within 24 to 48 hours. It just depends on how fast you are with your paperwork and getting them everything they need in order to fund us the loan. Like I was saying earlier, if you're cash, if you're uh, financing, um, once the vehicle's funded, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. Uh, we torque the lug nuts, check the tire pressure, check all your fluid levels, make sure you didn't lose a horn, make sure you didn't lose brake lights, reverse lights. You know, as I stated earlier, they're old cars. Anything can stop working or anything can fail at any time. Uh, they do on new cars, and on the older cars, it's even you know more of a of a factor. But uh, we, we do one last final check, make sure everything's on the up and up and the guys green light it before it's on its way to you. Once, the, uh, once I do get the green light and the guys tell me that it's good to go, uh, we can uh, usually have a carrier here within 24 to 48 hours. Of course, if you're in a more rural or remote area, allow us you know, three, four, five days. Uh, it just depends. But trust me, we get you your vehicle uh, as fast as we possibly can. Once we're funded, we work quickly. We put it through the inspection, we get it detailed, we call a carrier, and we get it heading in your direction. Because we know you're excited about your car, we're excited to deliver it to you. So uh, that whole process, we get working very quickly. Let's set the uh, 67 Camaro down on the ground. We'll take it out. It's a beautiful day in Daytona. We'll take it out in the sunshine and we'll show you guys how this excellent car runs. Inside our 67 Camaro convertible. First of all, notice how nice this thing's idling like purring. Somebody did a great job on this motor. Again, I told you in the showroom, I don't know when the motor was built, but let me tell you something. I drive a lot of cars. When something runs this nice, this motor is set up nicely. Start with the wipers. Um, how about a horn? Turn signals? Driver? Passenger? Fuel gauge does work. 3766. That's 3,766 miles on the odometer. The title is exempt. True mileage unknown. Vintage air, and it does work. Okay, so first of all, your fan speed. And then somebody's got this reversed. Hot is actually cold and cold is hot. So right now it's blowing cold. Anyways, we're gonna have the top down, so I guess we could leave the AC on, but it's not gonna cool anything down. So the sun's beating on us. It's about 98 degrees right now. Um, radio. Okay, so that works. Those gauges you see down there, uh, oil, temp, and battery voltage all functional. So we're at about a eh, buck 75, buck 80 right now. I'm um, sitting here at idle. So we'll see what uh, happens when we run some air through the radiator. And, uh, you know, it's about operating temperature between 170 and 195 uh, for Daytona this time of year on a small block Chevrolet. So. Um, not much. Oh, power top. Let's do that. If I can find the switch. Switch is down here under the speedo. I promise you it goes all the way up and all the way down. I'm not going to bore you sitting here watching that for six, seven minutes, but um, just a real, real, real nice car. We are going to see he agrees with me. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Um, he agrees with me. So uh, let's take it out and drive it. And I'll show you how it runs. Like I said, I've already driven it. It idles fantastic, runs fantastic, steers fantastic. You know, for those of you to watch me do a, a couple videos, you know when uh, you know we got our hands on a nice one and we do on this one. Let's go drive it. Nice car. Let go to steering wheel. The car tracks nice and straight. I could do this for a mile. How about the steering? Nice and tight on the steering. We don't have anybody behind us, so we'll put on the brakes. Car stops nice and straight. Look at that, perfectly straight. 
Car accelerates nicely. Again, it's a 327, so it's not a big block. You know, it's not going to light the tires, but uh, if you want just a, a nice running car that's, you know, turn the key, it starts right up, uh, doesn't spit, pop, smoke, idles nicely, speedo's working, and it's accurate, needle's not bouncing, we're down, you know, 42, 43 miles an hour, we're in a 40 mile an hour zone, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit the traffic light, take it around the corner, just run it up through the gears, get it to maybe 55, 60 miles an hour and shut it off, but, uh, no tire vibration, no engine vibration, no tranny vibration, nothing in the seat, nothing in the floor pans, you know, it's nothing. Making noise, rattling all around. Again, a nice, look. Oh, nice to brake stop. No pulsation or vibration out of the brakes. Let's hit it. There's just shifted once, shifted again. Nice, crisp, smooth shifts in the transmission. 60 miles an hour on the speedometer. Coming down a little bit now because the car just pulled out in front of me, but. You got no hands on the wheel at 55. Got temp, Just staying right where it should be. That's operating temperature for a small block Chevy when you're at 95 degree heat. Car's not overheating, good oil pressure. If you are looking for a beautiful, think of not, <laughs> the amount of Camaros that come through our showroom with air in it, you know, everybody always asks me on the first gen Camaros, does it have air, can you add air? The answer is yes, we can add air, but more commonly than not, the answer, does it have air, is no. Uh, you don't get many cars through the showroom, many first-gen Camaros with, well, you, you get a lot more without air than you do with air. And this one has the convertible top and the air. So if it's blistering hot out and you just can't stand it, you put the top up and you turn the air on. But if you got a 70, 75 degree day and you want to take your car out for a cruise, you can drop the top and you're good to go that way too. So. This, uh, this car has uh, everything you can ask for. Convertible, hugger orange, air, power steering, power brakes, a well-tuned motor, uh, great interior. Nice. This one will, uh, this one will go fast. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hanksters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this car today along with this video presentation you are watching right now. At full retail price, this 67 Camaro includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier so that gleaming white top doesn't get dirty. It also includes a powertrain warranty that covers engine, transmission, and rear end. It doesn't cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators, oil leaks, is only going to cover major mechanical breakdowns of your powertrain. That warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. A small block Chevrolet Camaro is a very simple car to work on. Automatic transmission. Take it to the person that works on your daily driver, they can handle it. You don't have to bring it back to Florida or bring it to Hangsters or take it to a special muscle car dealership or Chevrolet dealer. Is the price of the 67 Camaro convertible negotiable? It most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty I talked about comes off. The shipping I talked about comes off. Both are good at full retail price only. We can help you facilitate the shipping. We can have a shipping broker we can put you on to. You guys can decide whether you want to ship it open or closed. Maybe you want to ship it open, save yourself a couple hundred bucks. That's up to you. Uh, I ship everything enclosed, uh, and of course the warranty, um, you know, again, you don't get the uh, uh, comfort of the warranty if, if it's not a, a full price deal. So, um, you know, at, at full price you get the uh, security of the warranty, and you get the shipping where we contact the shipper, we pay the driver, 
we make all the shipping arrangements and delivery arrangements. At a negotiated price, you're just gonna pay the driver on delivery, cash or check, and then um, you know, you're gonna decide whether you want open or enclosed, and you will talk with the broker, um, and the broker will talk with the shipper during the during the transport process. Are you watching us from afar? Maybe you're in uh, Switzerland, Sweden, Australia, New Zealand, Germany. We export these fine classics as well. We can handle that whole process from start to finish for you too. So if you're watching us from a distance and you're interested in one of our classic vehicles, keep in mind, we can get it to you. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, sunny Daytona Beach. Our website is hanksters.com. I'll state for I think the third time, the 67 Camaro will not last long. So contact us today. We'd love to have you as a customer.